In relation to whether one approach, be it harm reduction, is better than abstinence, it's hard to really say. I think what's important for, for us, and it's one of the things that we try to um, get across very clearly in the courses that we run, is that the most important thing to have in, in any community or any country is a series of options for people. The very important thing is to, to recognise that one size doesn't fit, fit all. So whereas you might have somebody who the, the most appropriate outcome for their treatment is lifelong abstinence, and that works for them, so everybody's happy. But there are another um, you know, bulk of people there, um, or group of people there, um, for whom abstinence is not a realistic goal. They're either unwilling or unable to, to you know, strive towards abstinence. And in that case, harm reduction seems like a very logical and pragmatic um, approach to take. I think abstinence has traditionally been seen as the most favourable outcome for treatment. Um, and you could argue why the reasons behind that are, are, are varied, really. Um, some people might say that it comes from a very moralistic view of addiction. Um, and you know, one of the things that we explain during the courses that we run are the various different models of addiction, the way different people um, view addiction. One of the very dated now um, models would be the moral model, which sees addiction as being just generally a weakness um, for, that, that's uh, you know, characterised um, by people who are generally sinful, and one of the you know the the way that they would offer treatment at at that time would be to punish people, and that's why there was lots of people sent to prison for for addiction related issues. The unfortunate thing is that that moralistic attitude has survived fairly well in Ireland, um, but I think it's very important for people to understand that. It, it is a way that people, some people view addiction, but there are lots of other more up-to-date and more humane ways to, to view addiction.